back. So, I'm going to be filling y'all in on what has been going on as far as my transplant. A lot has been going on in regards to that. Um, so, today I went for my second ultrasound this week. And it was because they noticed that my kidney was growing larger and that can be a sign of my body rejecting the organ. Well, today I found out that um, that's not the case. However, I am developing antibodies, donor specific antibodies against the kidney, which means my body has made specific antibodies to fight my kidney nothing else just that specific organ um so i have to go for a iv ig treatment on monday but anyway back to today um i found out that the enlargement is not what's causing the rejection or my body making these antibodies the reason my kidney has grown to be larger is because my artery in my leg that the kidney is connected to is pretty much like a spaghetti noodle like it literally looks like an s and being that it is shaped that way just like the one in my arm <laughs> is giving my kidney a lot of trouble so now i have to be mindful of the way i sit what i wear um, more mindful of my blood pressure and even how i lay at night um so yeah, it's just the fact that it's shaped like an S. It's harder for the blood to flow through on some days than it is on others based on how I'm sitting or laying, etc. like I just explained. So yeah, I was really freaking out because I thought that it enlarging was part of the rejection process. Like I said, it can be, but for me, that's not the case um, this time. Now the antibodies um, developing is pretty much my body doing what everybody's body is supposed to do is seeing my kidney as a foreign object and it is attacking it just like your body does when you have the flu or anything like that and your white blood cells help fight off infections and things like that same thing um but in this case it is bad for me because like i said it's attacking the kidney so we actually don't need my body to do that which is why i'm on the immunosuppression pills that I am on and the steroids to stop my body from doing that. I was also on a pill called Valcite, which is to prevent me from the CMV virus, which means um, it's a whole strain of a bunch of stuff like included in that virus, chicken pox, um, herpes, all those things, COVID-19, all those things. There are all strands of the herpes virus, shingles, all that. So I had to stop taking that pill after six months. And um, being that we've all had chicken pox, the CMV virus lives inside of us, which is the thing I did not know. I mean, I knew chicken pox doesn't go away. I knew that once you catch chicken pox as a child, you're likely to get shingles as an adult, which is pretty much just adult, adult chicken pox with extremely dry skin. So it's pretty much, yeah, like I said, adult chicken pox. Um, so uh, my donor also had chicken pox, so they carry the um, CMV virus as well. So yeah, um, that's all that's really been going on. Um, just wanna put it out there. I don't have any other kind of infections or anything like that working against my kidney. So I don't have to worry about that, which is a good thing because that will make it a lot worse and the process, pro process will probably be going a lot faster than it is. So I've been really worried about that but hopefully Monday when I do the IV IG treatment, it'll help or it'll work. So I don't have to start back um, taking Valcite. I don't know if they do that or start taking another medication. I've seen other people make comments on my post in the kidney group that they start had to start taking a medication because they did the IV IG, IV IG treatment like nine or more times and it never worked. And I saw some say that it actually made their kidney fail. So, that's not gonna happen. We're just gonna put that in the atmosphere. That's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Cause if I have to do this transplant thing again, I got one more transplant in me and I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> so yeah, that's what's been going on. I've been stressed, freaking out. Good thing is, um, like I said today, it's just, I have to be careful with 
how I sit because of the blood flow in that little itty bitty artery, which is actually the biggest one in my both of my legs. So that's why they use this this my left side. Again, same thing happened with my fistula when they tried to place it because um, it was the first one was right down here where the little scar is. Same thing. It was shaped like an S. It clogged up. So then I had to get this big one up here. So yeah, we're gonna pray that it continues to do its thing so they don't have to go in and put a stent in or anything like that because right after transplant i did have a stent in my kidney so i don't want them to have to go in and put a stent um in my artery um and keep it open which i actually have an artery in this fistula now that's in my armpit that is still there to keep it open so yeah that's like i said that's what's been going on um on a lighter note more good news i'm acing my summer class which is only five weeks long thank god which is kind of stressful and it's funny because the name of the class is stress management but I'm acing it and I have about three weeks left of this class our last day of class I think it's August the 5th or either the 8th I know our final is somewhere in between those uh, three days so that's all I have for y'all right now I actually recorded another video of me putting my new sensor on it's called the Dexacom G6, but I don't know if I'm going to post that one or not. I might just wait until I have to change it um, in a couple more days and just redo it. But yeah, y'all keep praying for me. Again, if you want to help me, all the links will be down in the description box down below. I appreciate you all so very much for watching. Please stay tuned to this crazy, crazy, nerve wracking, stressful journey. And I will see you all again later with another update or a blog, who knows, I don't know.